82-year-old Lars Uno Carlson has a dream to get this 1940s gas-powered tractor working again. Carlson, who spent most of his career with Volvo, is now one of more than 70 volunteers helping to run the Monktel Museum, which chronicles the history of Volvo construction equipment. Oh, it's just what it is, a challenge. Oh, that from the beginning, that we at least must get it done. Och se ut som den gjorde när den var ny eller när den var i funktionsdugligt skick. Eventuellt få den att fungera, vilket jag inte tror på för vi har saknar en del grejer. The museum is in the Swedish town of Eskilstuna, west of Stockholm. At its entrance a statue of Johan Ter från Munktel, a brilliant engineer who founded a mechanical workshop here in 1832 the beginnings of Volvo CE. Munktel brought steam technology from England and designed this locomobile, a horse-drawn steam engine used to run threshing machines at harvest time. I would say it was a revolution. It helped the, the industry and it helped the farmers a lot. And that was one of Mr. Munktel's vision, to mechanize farming, to make life easier for farmers. Powered by compressed air today, rather than steam, the locomobile is still in full working order, like nearly everything in the museum. Another giant of a machine designed by Munktel was Sweden's first mechanical tractor. Weighing in at eight tons, it was able to do the work of 16 horses. När du sätter igång och vrider apparaten så då får du liksom ta i och liksom planera körningen för att veta en bra bit i förväg vad du vad du ska göra. Fantastiskt och oerhört spännande och liksom känna livet i så mycket maskin. Det är liksom, eh, det går inte att beskriva. All the forerunners of Volvo's modern day construction equipment are here. The first Swedish built road grader dating back to 1924, which the museum's former curator managed to save from a scrapyard in Stockholm. An H10 wheel loader, still running smoothly after 60 years. It's designed based on the clever idea of a back-to-front tractor. Also on display, one of Volvo CE's stars, the world's first series manufactured articulated hauler, Gravel Charlie, which made its debut in 1966. We uh, can be proud of our long history. It shows our commitment to our customers that we will we have been here 183 years and we'll probably be another 183 years. And many customers that I've had through the museum, they are, they are really impressed and surprised that we have been in the business so long. Up to 25,000 visitors come to the Munktel Museum every year. They're actively encouraged to climb on the machines. One-year-old Katja and her father are already on their fourth visit. Also looking around today is a Chicago-based mechanical engineer. I think it's incredible. This is the kind of thing that got me interested in uh, in going into engineering because of engines and all of the old designs and you know the the old principles basically of what drive all of this are still being used today. So it's it's neat to see all the history from it and have some of it run. <laughs> you know, that's great.